Hey guys, what's up? Clued Your Hacker here, and today I am basically answering a person's question. Uh, basically, that asks, "How did you run Windows 7 and Mac on the same screen? Some type of program?" Well, in Mac OS 10, the nice thing about it is, and in Windows, I really should say they do, they both do this, is that they can run what is called virtual machines, and virtual machines are basically a virtual computer. Basically, it it means what it means. I can run any type of Windows program. I want as long as I'm running Windows 7 or Windows XP on a virtual machine and I can treat it like a desktop and basically look at that so it's very very cool and I will launch it here unfortunately the, th the only downside to having virtual machines is you gotta have powerful hardware to run it I would definitely not recommend anybody try to run a virtual machine on two gigs of uh, space as far as memory is concerned I would definitely not do that I would do four gigs minimum and that's what I have so I'm going to show you, there are several software programs you can do to run and how you, how you choose basically is really up to you. There's a free one and it is called, let's see, it's, it's made by Sun, Sun Company, uh, what is it called? Yeah, it's called VirtualBox and I haven't tried it recently but when I have tried it, it's been very buggy for me. They probably did a number of updates because this is a uh, very nicely updated, um, really virtual machine program that you can get out there for Windows and Mac and Linux. So it's a uh, all around good because it's free. However, I don't like it as much. I actually like a program in Mac. I like two of them. Uh, one's called Parallels and one's called VMware. VMware I prefer to use for running Windows on, and I uh, will launch it here. Parallels, I, I actually run Ubuntu off of. So they're both competitors, so you can choose either one for a company, but uh, Parallels runs Ubuntu fine, while VMware probably runs Windows a little bit better, in my opinion. Both of them take forever to load, unfortunately, and when I'm recording, it doesn't make it any better. So. Oh look, VMware won uh, won the race. I mean, overall, I do recommend VMware. However, VMware doesn't run in Linux if you care. Um, it doesn't run the uh, desktop effects, which kind of make li Linux special, in my opinion. Now, as you can see, I have two operating, actually three operating systems. You can even run Mac OS X within Mac OS X. You, no, you cannot run Mac OS X on VMware for Windows, um, not legally in that sense, so I don't recommend doing it, but you can run Mac OS X on Mac OS X, and I wouldn't recommend making a uh, shortcut like I just did or an alias. So, as you can see, this uh, program is very, very nice. I can, basically, I froze two states. I turned Windows 7 off. I can choose Windows XP and I can load it if I wanted to and I can use it like a regular desktop. This program here, which is, I believe it's around 50 to $60, maybe 70 at the most, it's called VMware Fusion. They have it for Windows for free. If you want to run it on Windows and you want to run, for example, if I'm running Windows 7 and Windows XP, uh, if you have Windows 7 Ultimate, I might want to add that you can get a free copy of Windows XP. And you can check out my other video on that. I'll put that a link in there as well. So this is really the Mac way. You can try it for free. You can upgrade or you can buy. Now, to buy it, it's probably going to be, like I said, around 50 to $60, maybe even 70 I haven't checked back, so we shall see how much it cost. Yeah, for a new one, that gets you product upgrades for the next six months. That's going to be around $60. So this is if you buy digitally. In a store, it might cost a little bit more. So it really is worth the price. However, I might want to add that you don't get a free copy of Windows. You have to provide that yourself via, you know, you actually buy that. Or you have to, I really should say, you have to purchase Windows to get, get this running. Or you can get Ubuntu for free should have activated this a long time ago but I haven't done that yet because I'm lazy now parallels is nice uh, actually I haven't even installed Ubuntu on this 
but I'd actually recommend for Windows to use VMware. It'll work much faster, uh, and for Mac to use VMware. Have you guys also noticed the black bar under Google? I know I'm stepping away from the, the main point of this video here, but I don't like it that much. They need to switch it back or let me customize it, but that's just one small thing. Some people like it. That's your cup of tea. But anyways, like I said to this user, you really can get it for free. You know, I have not tried the latest virtual machine programs out there, so there could be some new ones out there. Or And I haven't really even tried VirtualBox to an extent. I mean, I've tried it on Macs, and to me, on my Mac, it doesn't work the greatest. But who knows? They could have definitely upgraded stuff. I have not tried it. They're always upgrading. As you can see, VirtualBox 4.0 has released, and it includes stability and fixes... Um, many problems so maybe maybe it's a good choice for you to try out who knows so there's several programs that you can do here um maybe in future video i will walk you through an ubuntu installation but it's pretty much the same thing you get your disk you pop it in you load the program up and then you basically choose file new oops file new and you can either continue without a disk or once the disk is popped in you can just follow the instructions on the screen it's not hard it is available to mac wind uh, mac and windows users as well and even linux users use a uh, virtual box out there which is very nice if you were on a one yeah if you <laughs> if you want to run um you know netflix on ubuntu that's probably your only way so a lot of Ubuntu fans like using that. So thank you guys for watching uh, my video, and definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. I will be doing a future video segment called This Week in Apple, and I will be doing this video probably around maybe even today. I will update something. So it will be a new segment where I talk about Apple products and what comes out with Apple. Uh, not that I have anything against Windows. In fact, I'll probably have a separate video for what's, what's new in Windows. And this week in Linux is already taken, and I don't mind at all. You can go check out that guy's channel, youtube.com slash thisweekinlinux, or you can go to thisweekinlinux.com. So thank you guys for watching my videos, and like I said, definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.